We're giving you a live look over Uptown Charlotte right now. It's a little cloudy, but it still looks pretty nice outside. Doesn't look like any rain, but first alert meteorologist Alicia Wilson is here to let you know what's really going on. That's right, Natisha. You know, we've been tracking some isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms today. Nothing uh, too bad out there, but want to show you a live look now at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Of course, got the Coke 600 going on tomorrow and of course a lot of activities before the actual race tomorrow. So far we've just had the cloud cover, the sunshine and some very warm temperatures topped out at 84 today, but want to give you that forecast for tomorrow. We're expecting those temperatures to climb into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees for tomorrow, and it's mainly for the latter half of the afternoon and evening hours that we're expecting those chances for showers and thunderstorms to increase. We're at 82 in Concord at 77 in Salisbury and 83 still in Charlotte, along with Monroe Lancaster is checking in at 84. We're going to continue with the warm and humid conditions right on into Memorial Day and more chances Chances for showers and thunderstorms looks likely, especially in the afternoon hours for Monday. So we'll have to watch out for that. Highs again going to be topping out into the upper 80s. A lot of looking out the first alert Doppler radar network. We do have some thunderstorms that are working their way through portions of Gaston County at this time, and even a little bit of light rain also pushing through Mount Holly and the northern half of Mecklenburg County here. If this holds together, we could see this drifting farther towards the south into Matthews Indian Trail and Weddington. But as we start to lose the heating of the day, these storm's going to have a hard time continuing to keep that steam, so to speak. The big focus will be the cold front pushing our way late on Sunday going into Monday, and that will increase our chances and even our coverage for seeing the shower and thunderstorm activity. So just be mindful of that as we go throughout the rest of this holiday weekend. But most of Sunday looks dry. It's really not until Sunday night that we start to see our chances for showers and thunderstorms increasing. And this here over Lexington at and Abermarl could actually be a little bit farther towards the south and a little bit farther towards the west. That means it could have an impact on Mecklenburg County getting into Sunday night. So make sure you have that first alert weather radar app handy as you can see those storms headed your way. 94 tomorrow, 89 on Monday, mostly sunny, 86 on Tuesday. We'll be right back.